Hi guys, it's Matt again, and uh, if anybody who knows me knows I hate hopper-fed blasters. I really, I have an issue with them. It's, uh, it's, it's just a problem I have. I, I hate anything that's hopper-fed. But when it came to a half-price sale. I did buy a Prometheus and there are a few standout things about it. The strap itself is really nice. It's good quality and it's got a nice pad with the Rival logo on it. Um, it says this is a 200 round hopper. That's 250 in there. I reckon I could fit 275 easily. If you look at how much space there is as well, and it'll still leave enough room for the agitators to work. Um, this will be mainly a review um, because it hasn't been modded and I don't see the point. There is literally in my opinion, no point to mod a Prometheus. Um, it does have this tactical rail up top. And I'm not entirely sure of its purpose because when it's slung, there's no point in putting an optic on this because your hand's gonna be in the way if you're holding the the grip, I, I, I can't think of a single accessory that would go on there. Even worse, there's one in the middle of the bumpers. And even if it was just a flashlight, it'd be obscured by the, the shell and the rails and you wouldn't be able to put it down because these act as a rest. Foregrip, pointless because it's slung and it's meant to be hip fired. So why would I want a foregrip and a flashlight attachment underneath? That would just be crazy. Um, as well as the, the pointless rail up top. And all that rail basically does is hold the hopper in place. And you just flip it, flip it up and you can take the hopper out. It's got ammo in it there, so it's already partly fed. So I'm not going to pull the hopper out, but trust me, there's 250 in there. I will not be firing all 250 in the test because, well, it just takes too long. Um, it does do eight balls per second, apparently and comes with, I believe, a 9.6 volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery. I think that's fantastic. The, it, it took a while and I was a little impatient, but it took a while to charge the battery from like minimum up to working level. And once it once once the battery had fully charged it's it's absolutely perfect there's it's a 9.6 volt which is fine i don't need to 3s this it's pointless that battery is good you have your safety and when you rev you'll get a green light which after about 30 seconds goes out of inactivity. Um, when that goes red, it means your battery's low and time to change your back, uh, time to recharge your battery. It's great that it comes with a charger and the battery pack, unlike the Hera and the Chaos, which require the proprietary battery pack the the nimh 
7.6 volt, I think, um, little battery pack. I'm going to lipo my Chaos rather than spend that money because I've got a bag of lipos or lots of them. So what's the point, to be honest? Um, I, I personally was going to hate this at first. I bought it because it was half price. And effectively that pays for almost all the ammo but then i realized i'm gonna need another hundred so i had to buy another hundred because i lose them even in the house they just go everywhere and i can never find them. i find some in the bathroom behind a cup or in my toothbrush holder or something really obscure but that's that's rival for you they just bounce everywhere i mean the rev on it is not that loud. That's quite cool. A lot of people have said that they don't like having the rev trigger there and the fire trigger there, but I find it perfectly comfortable. Um, it's not a problem to me. I, I don't see why people want to swap the switches over and have that as the rev and that as the fire. I'm, I'm happy the way it's set up as it is, and the safety is fantastic, because it, it is an ambi safety. So you can use the other side, which is nice. I, I just, I love it. Um, I was prepared to, to not, I still don't like the Nemesis because it just looks ridiculous. But this, if you're going for a juggernaut or heavy class, or you just don't want to run around so much, is a good option if you can get a lot of cheap rival ammo, because this thing will just spit money out, basically. It, it costs a fortune to fill, and it gets that hopper empty in I'd say about a minute uh, I'll fire a few bursts I'll try a couple of single shots if I can make it um, but I will try a few bursts and then I'll just go full auto for a couple of seconds just so you can get some idea of the uh, the ROF on it but I was most impressed that you can also remove the front grip and all it is is a button and then it'll fit in to either side so whether you're a left or a right or just whatever feels comfortable to you you can you can swap it over so that's nice and you, it's not it's not a permanent fixture like on um, the long shot bolt sled or the uh wrapped strike bolts uh bolt arm like primary arm um it's not a permanent thing so you can just press that button slide it out swap it over exactly the same so apart from the two pointless tack rails which won't get anything put on them ever it does have these nice little ski thing skid bumpers at the bottom which are uh, well there to protect it I suppose and the back of the battery itself is rubberized so it makes it nice uh, softer and less likely to damage if you bang it against the wall or a door frame or something because it is it is a hefty blaster so there's nothing to it but to shoot it so we'll see how it goes um like i said i'm gonna try a couple of single shots then some bursts then some full auto so headphone wearers time to turn your volume down
So I can single shot it. And full auto. So, amongst the sea of yellow um, rival rounds, um, overall it shoots incredibly well. I think the hopper is a better design than the Nemesis because it feeds better. Um, its rate of fire is incredible. Um, and that's, that's just with the standard 9.6 um, an IMH battery, rather than the uh, rather than a lipo. So effectively, it's already modded when you get it, because that is there was no motor sag. All the shots, as you can see, were pretty much straight. Um, the only the only time it wasn't was when I was just moving it slightly or tilting. So overall. I've shot a few thousand rounds through this now and it's jammed on me about once so reliability wise it's very very good um, if you can find one cheap like on a discount on half price or something grab on um, this was <laughs> the ridiculous thing is this was about Twenty pounds more than a Nemesis, so really, you get twice the capacity, better rate of fire, more controllability, and it comes with the battery. So the battery itself is is like. If you can get one in the UK, the battery itself is very expensive for for analysis, um, thirty or forty pounds. So you're effectively paying twenty pounds more to get a much bigger, much better battery, twice the capacity, and overall a better blaster. So this will analysis this one every time. So if you can find one uh, discount like I did, don't hang around. Grab it before everybody else does. Just, just do it. Just grab it because they're great. Um, I will do some more outdoor stuff with it, and I'll probably do some um, footage, outdoor footage. Um, I I can't even put a camera mount on there because. The handle had been the way of the lens, so <laughs> why? Just Hasbro, why? Why? Rails for rails sake. I, they're, they're just pointless. Anywho, I have and always will be Matt. And thank you to all my friends from the Transatlantic Blaster Alliance. Um, my bro ja uh, Jason and the Jeffs, Mongoose Jake, and all the rest of the crew, Boomtendo, everybody, all all of us guys. Um, personally, I'd like to say thank you to everybody um, for helping me out and just generally being a great group. And I'm glad to be a founder and administrator. So, yeah, if you want more information, check the show more below and that'll have my contact details, my Instagram, my email, um, and I'll drop some links in for um, the Transatlantic Blaster Association um, Facebook group and yeah, I think that's about it. I've just been mad. 
and this is my Prometheus, um, which I never intended to buy, but um, I'm glad I did. So, if you like it, if you like the video and you want to see more, hit like and subscribe, and you'll get notified if you hit the bell, little bell icon, you'll be notified of my latest updates. Um, I really want to build a super long shot at the moment, but cost and parts and stuff. I've got brass, but I just don't have the parts and I, I can't afford it at the moment. So <sighs> also I'll have my Patreon down there if you want to help me out, but I know things have been a little, um, my channel's been a little sporadic since my mom passed. Um, but I'm trying to catch up and get back on track. So hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you guys later. More protection and respect the law. So take care, guys. Matt out.